As of today, Procreate doesn't have an automatic way to add drop shadows, but there are a few techniques that you can use to add them really quickly nonetheless. I'm going to demo this using this illustration, but you could totally use these same steps for text or whatever else you need. Now the only thing you want to make sure is that no matter what they are, the shapes that you want to add shadows to are all either in one group or on the same layer. And real quick here, if you're not sure how to create a group in Procreate, it's very easy. You just go in your layer panel and select any layer you want to group. So in my case, I already have all my groups, but let's say I just create two random layers here. You can then swipe the layers with one finger towards the right to select multiple. And then you just have the group option that appears here at the top. So you can just tap on group which is going to create a group. Now let's say I want to add a shadow behind my little mushroom guys here. First thing to verify again is that they're either all in one layer, which they're not, but they're all in one group, so that's okay. So step two is creating a copy of either the group or the layer your elements are on. And to do that, swipe either your layer or your group towards the left with one finger and tap on duplicate. Now if you're working with groups at this stage, you do need to flatten the bottom copy. The top one can remain as it is, that's totally okay, but the bottom one, just go ahead and flatten it. And then we're going to rename this one to shadows. And just so you can see what you're doing at this stage, I recommend hiding the top one. And the goal here is really just to create a solid silhouette of these shapes. But let's say I go in and select my shadow color and then just drag it on top of the shape. You can see that it's going to recolor the shapes, but it's also going to keep all the detail elements, which is really not what we want. Now the way to go around that really quickly is to go back in your layer menu and activate what is called alpha lock on the shadow layer. Now you can do that by swiping your layer with two fingers towards the right or tapping on the layer to activate alpha lock from the menu. From there all you have to do is select fill layer and you can see that it's going to fill your entire layer with the shadow color. From there you can go ahead and play with different blending modes if you want. I think for shadows either linear burn or multiply looks really really good and you can also play with the opacity if you feel like your shadows are too intense. Now if we go ahead and reactivate our main group or main layer, we're still not going to see the shadows because they're right below the main shapes. So we're just going to pick the arrow tool here and with the arrow tool we're going to be able to just move the shadows around and put them wherever we want them to be. But we're not quite done yet, I have one more tip for you which is super easy but quite important. Right now our shadows are really really harsh, so we're going to make them a bit softer by adding blur, but first we need to deactivate alpha lock, otherwise we're not going to be able to add any blur. So just going back in the layer panel and then swiping the shadows layer once more towards the right with two finger. If it doesn't work you can also deactivate it manually from the menu. And then going in the adjustment panel you can pick Gaussian blur and add as much or as little blur as you want to soften your shadows. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more Procreate tips and tricks, I highly recommend you check out this playlist because I have a bunch more for you. But before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos I post every Tuesday and Saturday. Then click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.